Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. Horror games are not really my thing. I mean, I own all of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, and yet I'm too much of a baby to sit down with those games for more than five minutes. Granted, there's been a few favorite horror games that I've experienced in recent years. Until Dawn and Dead Space were pretty good, and Honey Pop got... real. I'm sorry. Was that supposed to be romantic? <laughs> Why'd you reject me, Aiko? <laughs> Why? So what reason would I have to play any of the Resident Evil games? While I already own the two recent remakes, RE2 and RE3, the franchise has only reached acquaintance status with me. I'm only familiar enough to know what the story is, who the characters are, but I've never really sat down to play these for myself. <sighs> Closest I've gotten was watching playthroughs from Markiplier and Maximilian Dude. But now that the 25th anniversary has arrived, I think it's about damn time to rid myself of the pacifier, put on my big boy pants, and play the one that started it all. Uh, oh. 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 Whew, that's, uh, that's quite a bit of money. Okay, so, I'm not rich enough to buy the original copy, and I'm not about to experience the version with pubescent trumpets. Instead, we'll be looking at the 2002 remake that is available on just about every platform today, and is coincidentally almost always on sale. So here we go! <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet! My name is Ty with Mojo Plays, and this is a retro review of Resident Evil HD. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Resident Evil HD opens up with an eerie mystery. Strange Murdy monetized! Okay. Strange events have occurred outside Raccoon City. When the city sends out its special task force, STARS, the group gets separated amid a chase involving zombified puppos. Now the rest of the team must seek shelter in the spooky Spencer Mansion. As either Jill Not a Sandwich Valentine or pre-boulder punching Chris Redfield, you'll have to explore the labyrinthian home, uncover what went down, and figure out how to escape. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. That last part, though, easier said than done. Not only is Spencer Mansion riddled with flesh eating demonetized, fine. Not only is Spencer Mansion riddled with fanatical meat lovers, but some of the rooms contain perplexing puzzles and may even be rigged with traps. These can get about as simple as moving objects around, or remembering the location of a particular object needed to solve the puzzle. However, that's just me stripping them down to the bone. A lot of these puzzles can get really cryptic and require a bit of out-of-the-box thinking. It wasn't long before I just started looking at every little thing I could find, but it didn't make solving them any less satisfying. It was a wonderful sense of Eureka, which is what I like in my puzzle games. Normally, this amount of backtracking would be taxing on the brain and bring things to a screeching halt, but Resident Evil does throw a few things at you to keep you on your toes. No matter how many times you kill all of the zombies in one location, they'll eventually respawn later. Either that, or their corpse DEMONETIZED! That sleepy zombie you've passed by a dozen times will wake up and attack you later down the road. This helps maintain a balance between suspense and quiet time for thinking. Things won't always be up in your face all the time, but you better be ready in case something unexpected happens. Like those damn dogs. Hate those dogs. Oh my god. Never leaped out of my chair so quickly. You do get a number of ways to defend yourself from the bloodthirst DEMONETIZED from the fruit punch guzzling zombies. Jeez, YouTube is sensitive. 
Chris and Jill start out with a small pi- DEMONETIZED! A small pew pew and a knife. But you'll be able to find a few more weapons to help you later on. You may also find equipment to let you escape a zombie's grasp without getting bitten. Only problem is that combat can get a little bit cumbersome. For your reference, I played the game as close to the original form as I could possibly get. That means not only did I play at a 4-3 aspect ratio, but I also used the same controls as the original game. That's right, I'm using clunky old tank controls, son! Navigation was never really a problem, thankfully, but this is what made combat a bit of a chore. It was always difficult trying to aim for the head without the zombies getting too close, and even when they were at point-blank range, I still had a hard time making the shot. However, I knew that not every encounter was to be taken head-on, so sometimes it really was better to just run away. Of course, the terror doesn't end with just the zombies. The environment and camera teams deserve utmost praise for their work here. Spencer Mansion is perhaps the most hauntingly beautiful place I've visited in a game. Even with a sophisticated exterior and foyer, there's this sick feeling you get in the pit of your stomach just from looking at it. It is pristine and vintage enough that lets you know something's up. Camera work, on the other hand, keeps the tension high as you wonder what lies around the next corner. Several times did I leap out of my seat because a zombie or dog appeared from off screen. Props to the sound team as well. Despite having a somewhat quiet atmosphere in terms of music, Resident Evil uses a hearty library of sounds to retain that unsettling feeling. From the clock in the dining hall and sounds of the house settling, to zombies thumping against windows and a sudden rise in music, you're always bracing yourself for the next thing. The next moment where you freak out and start wasting ammo. That isn't to say I was constantly crapping my pants. Of the few horror games I have played, Resident Evil was the least scary, and I think that's partially because of the B-movie atmosphere and writing. Seriously, this is probably one of the funniest horror games I have ever played. I've known about some of the Resident Evil memes for a long time now, but my personal favorites are when Jill runs back to Barry after stumbling across a monster! and when Wesker appears out of nowhere to save Chris in the intro. Chris, this way! Chris, this way! The writing is so dumb that I can't help loving it, and the hokey character models bring the whole thing home. By the way, can I just say that I love Wesker's stupid face? Come on, name one person fictional or real, who has their hair slicked back like that, and constantly wears shades, even in the dead of night, and indoors. This guy is a total douche canoe, and I want to see more of him. Flippin' edgelord in his deadpan expressions. Alright, you two go. I'll secure this area. It's funny. I never really expected to end up liking Resident Evil as much as I did here. The franchise was never on my bad side per se. Like I said, horror games were never appealing to me with the exception of Dead Space, Five Nights at Freddy's, and a few other exceptions. However, Resident Evil showed me that its world wasn't just creepy doorways and jump scares. It wasn't just spooky gorgeous settings and disturbing sounds either. There's plenty of clever puzzles to solve, downtime for exploration, and enough goofy writing to lighten the mood. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. It may be a total jerk and try to scare the pants off me every once in a while, but it's all in good fun. Happy 25th anniversary, Resident Evil. It may have taken me a quarter of a century to get to know you better, but I'm incredibly excited to play catch up. Now, who wants to skip with me to the village of psychopaths and vampire ladies? There'll be Jill sandwiches. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house. That's for sure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.